Tracking another round of wet weather. Oh, it's definitely wet out there. If you're going to be traveling this evening, you're going to be out and about. You know, as I mentioned earlier, it's still kind of slick, so slow down. It's not icy out there, at least not yet. We could see some ice so develop late tonight, tomorrow morning, if we don't dry out enough. And we might even see some snow in the lower elevations. What's driving all this moisture, all this wet weather? Weather system over northwestern Nevada, an area of low pressure that's spending up all the moisture up into east Idaho. As it gets closer, it will get a bit cooler. Big question mark is whether we'll actually end up with any snow at all, at least in the Pocatello Auto Falls area. There is a chance of that nonetheless. Uh, the reason why there's just a chance of snow, there may not be enough moisture in the atmosphere to really produce the snow uh, by the time it gets cold enough. But for right now, it's just liquid precipitation and you'll definitely get wet out there this evening. 33 will be the low overnight in Pocatello, 32 at Auto Falls, 31 in Blackfoot. American Falls right at the freezing mark and those numbers are a little colder than they were last night. We got just basically isolated rain and snow for the central mountains. So for chows and salmon, you folks are dry. You're going to stay that way for the rest of the night. Meanwhile, Arco, a little wet. Mackey, perhaps a little wet. Stanley could see some rain and snow showers this evening. Certainly widespread rain and snow for the upper highlands in western Wyoming. Low temperatures overnight will range from the lower 20s to lower 30s. And then for the southeastern corner, certainly a wintry mix, especially a wintry mix in the higher elevations this evening. But again, if we have the moisture stick around long enough, We'll see widespread snow even in the lower elevations. Downey, uh, cold enough for that snow, just above freezing overnight. Preston, below freezing tonight with a low of 30. Malad City at 31. Then tomorrow, we're done. <laughs> Partly sunny, warming up a little bit. Upper 50s in Malad City, mid 50s in Lava. Uh, partly sunny for the upper highlands in western Wyoming. So put away that umbrella. You won't need it tomorrow at least. 46 in Yellowstone, 57 in Dubois. We got 60s up in the central mountains, lots of sunshine. 64 in Salmon tomorrow, so enjoy. Chalice at 62. Even the Snake River Plain will be about 10 to 15 degrees warmer than we were today. That means we'll top out at 60 at Pocatello. That all falls 59. And as I mentioned earlier, there's a chance of snow tonight. So you wake up in the morning, you might see a little bit on the ground, but it's gone in just a few hours. The temperature's warming up and drying out. Nice mix of uh, some blue sky out there with some gray. Southeast Idaho Chevy Dealer seven day forecast. Tomorrow's the start of a warming trend and look at that, how it warms up to 80 on Friday. Almost a record high. We're not there long. We'll see a cooling trend for the weekend, but certainly warmer than this last one. And a couple of bad hair days back to back. And I know they happen to fall right on the smack dab on the weekend, but at least it won't be snowing nor raining, right? Got to look at the good part. I know fall seven day forecast. We're in the upper 70s on Friday. That could be close to tying the record high for Friday, at least. Last day of April, by the way, in the start of uh, May, first weekend, we do get a little cooler, especially on Sunday, with some wind taking us into early Monday. Blackfoot seven-day forecast, warming trend tomorrow. We will top out on Friday with a high of 80. And for the Teton area, we are dry for the rest of the month, after tonight, of course. And we got a high of 66 to finish off the month of April on Friday. And we could see some rain, though, for the latter half of the weekend. Definitely some wind on Sunday. And for the Central Mountains, look at that sunshine. Look at those temperatures. Salmon chalice up to 80 on Friday. Yeah, kiss that goodbye this weekend. Not quite as warm at least, but not bad. We'll be about 10 degrees cooler Saturday, another 10 degrees cooler on Sunday, a bit windier and a bit cloudier.